Hey everyone, welcome to this edition of My Daily Commute. And in this video, what I really wanted to discuss are the pros and cons of doing a computer science major as a pre-med. And obviously, this video will be a little biased because I did do a computer science major, but I think it's been such a good thing. It's been such a good thing for me to do. And I feel like it, it has had its benefits in medical school and will continue to have its benefits uh, throughout the duration of my medical career. So what are the pros and cons of doing a computer science major? So the first reason as to why I believe doing a computer science major could be very beneficial for your medical career, it just has so many applications, right? And big data, bioinformatics, machine learning, AI, these are terms that you constantly hear in today's age when it comes to medical research, but it's only gonna get bigger, right? And it's applicable to both basic, basic science research as well as clinical research. The, the potential for this is unknown, right? It could go in so many different places. Already we're seeing so much in terms of its potential to be applied to, to medicine. For example, there are projects where they're trying to train these machines to identify early markers of, of, of very severe devastating diseases. For example, Alzheimer's. We're able to use computational tools to look through genomic data and identify variants that are linked to, to certain diseases, which is kind of what I did the year before I entered medical school. My project was to basically look at the genomic data from families that had an increased risk for certain disease, such as lung cancer, right? And the idea was basically to figure out why these, these family members were so susceptible to these complex diseases. What we did was we, we basically looked through the genome, where we looked through the uh, genomic data, and we were trying to identify regions of the genome in which a mutation, certain mutations could increase their risk of cancer. There has, there are clinical implications for this, for, for this sort of thing as well. But my point is, this can go anywhere, right? This, there's so, like, this is just what we've uh, reached uh, thus far in 2019, but it can just go, it can go far beyond that. We don't know where, where the limit is right now, right? And technology just, just expands, it just grows so fast, right? It's crazy how fast it grows. So it's just insane. And I think that's why it's important to be well versed in these computational tools and know how they work because it's only going to get more and more involved in medicine and i think having that familiarity now will really help you as you go through your medical training right so i think that's that's the first reason why you should consider doing a computer science major it will if you do it i can almost guarantee that it will benefit you in some way whether it's at least making maybe making you more familiar with the technologies that you'll be using in the clinic or it will really help you when you're doing your research and maybe uh, either you're building the computational tools themselves or you're using them to crunch data or analyze data. There will be some kind of use. You will see it in your clinical or research careers. The second benefit, and I think it's an important one to consider as a pre-med, is either your mind might change about whether you want to do medicine or maybe the med school applications don't work out for you, right? I mean, you have to keep those things in mind. That's something that I, I did keep in mind when I was a pre-med that maybe this thing wouldn't work out, right? Maybe, first, maybe, maybe I just wouldn't get into medical school. Maybe somewhere along the way, uh, during my clinical training, I, at some point, I decided it's not for me, right? I think having a computational background is really big as a backup, right? Because you can still translate your, your skills into different fields, right? A computation, a degree in computer science will allow you to work in not only medicine, right? You can still work in medicine, but you could go into business or science or so many other things, right? It has very broad applications. It's a very, very good backup. The third reason as to why I think it's so valuable to have a computer science major is that while you're in medical school, you can still do some freelance gigs, right? If you know, if you know your stuff, if you have a portfolio from undergrad, you could possibly still get jobs, right? Um, what you could look at Upwork, you, you could look at maybe AngelList, but there are a lot of uh, remote freelancing opportunities in computer science, right? Whether that is doing some front-end web development, maybe you could do some data analysis, right? There's, there's a lot of things that you could do for which you could make some money on the side. And the fact that a lot of these gigs are, are freelance remote gigs really helps you out as, or is, makes it something that is actually possible to do as a medical student because you could simply pick up one of these gigs when there's a lull in your schedule and you, you want to make the extra cash. It's something that I think you should consider. You really want to mitigate the amount of loans that you have to pay. Now the fourth reason that I believe a computer science degree is so valuable is because 
in my opinion, unlike biology, it really forces you to think, right? I honestly think that biology and a lot of medicine actually is simply memorization, right? You're not learning, you're not really learning how to think. You're just cramming a whole bunch of facts in your mind. But unlike that, a degree in computer science will force you to think, or you're given these problems and you have to take the tools that you've learned in class and use them to build something new, right? You're, every, almost every programming assignment is like solving a puzzle. And I think it's really helped me develop my critical thinking skills, my problem solving skills. That's something that I really appreciated as an undergrad. I actually started my first computer science class took my first computer science class as a junior, my, yeah, my first semester of junior year, I took CompSci 1 or 201, right, the intro CompSci class, and it just blew my mind, right, because up until that point, all I had done was biology. I, I took these biology classes, and I, I realized that, I, you know, I saw that difference right away, that instead of just simply memorizing these facts, now I'm being given a set of tools, I'm learning a language such as Python, I'm learning what these different things are, such as strings and lists and certain data structures. But that's not, you know, no one's giving me the answer. Like a typical bio question would be like, where does this specific translation, uh, post-translational modification happen? Is it A in the cytosol, B, is it still in the nucleus, C? It's, you know, like some other option. <laughs> Whereas with a computer science major, the questions aren't really like that. Maybe on the exams, they might ask you some basic questions, but that you have to actually think through these answers. and and go through it and uh, figure out how you would build this build this program, right? So I think the actual, and I'm not saying that's not something that ha doesn't happen in biology. Obviously research is, is uh, you know, like you like research in any field, is, including biology, forces you to think that way, right? I'm not, obviously I'm not downplaying any of that. I, I'm a, I do a lot of biology research myself, but what I'm saying is that in terms of the education, I think a computer science, degree or computer science major is far superior in that regard and that it definitely forces you to think critically, uh, think on your feet, and apply those skills to solve problems. And so that's four things, right, as to why I think doing computer science is a good idea. So another thing that's really beneficial about doing a computer science degree, I don't want to say it's a reason you should do it, but I'm just tacking this on because I thought it was a very big benefit as a medical student, is that it's so time consuming that when you actually get into medical school, at least the first year, it doesn't feel that bad because you've been through a crazy schedule as a comp sci major, right? These projects and uh, assignments just take up so much of your time, and you're you get in this position where you feel where you honestly feel like uh, there barely is any time to do anything, anything at all, right? Because your focus is primarily on these projects. But after going through that when I entered medical school, I honestly did not feel like it was that hard or in terms of the amount of time that it consumed. I thought being a comp sci major was much worse. Second year of medical school definitely is, uh, it gets pretty bad, but I think, it, it, I don't think it was worse than what I went through that semester. And like I said, this is not a reason to do it, but I think it does help it, when you get into medical school, you honestly don't, it just, it honestly did not feel that bad. But you know, this was my personal experience, my personal opinion. I don't know how it is for other people who've gone through the same route. What you're doing, it's gonna be different. You're going from programming to memorizing a big chunk of, uh, big chunks of information. But in terms of having a component of your coursework take up so much of your time, that was something that I was already used to at that point. And that's why honestly that first year of med school was not, I didn't think it was too bad for that reason. So now in summer, we have about four or five pros for, for the comp sci major. Now, as for the disadvantages, the big obvious one is that it's hard. What you can do is, uh, or at least like see if, if your school offers a Bachelor of Arts like mine did, it allows you to be more flexible with the courses that you're taking. And you can really avoid some of the GPA killers like algorithms. And then what you can do is you can go back and take those classes on Coursera or something to gain that knowledge. If you're applying to jobs or post back gigs out of undergrad, I don't, from what I, I mean, they're not really gonna look at your, like the specific classes that you took, right? As long as you have the degree, but you for yourself or for the sake of some of these projects, you can go back and take those classes anyway. And then obviously you're applying to med school, so it's not, you know, med schools are not gonna care about uh, what computer science classes you took. All they care about are the prereqs, right? in terms of the specific classes that they care about, they just care about your prereqs. So you don't have to worry about that. So that's why, I mean, I think the biggest con is the fact that it can hurt your GPA 
but it's something that if possible if you're if your university offers a BA you can work around which is what I did and now that I'm in med school I'm kind of going back and I'm taking some of those other courses in machine learning or algorithms online on Coursera just so I have that knowledge another another one that I'm taking and, and the thing is depending on the grad programs that you get into you can make up those courses later on so now now that I'm in the bio e PhD program I can I can take comp sci courses as, as electives and that's what I'm actually doing so this semester I'm actually taking a course in statistical machine learning so that's that's what you have to consider right if you are MD PhD you just you know, just get your foundation undergrad and then you can take the GPA killers in grad school when a B or a C may not be the end of the world especially if it's in an elective class so in summary those are sort of my that's sort of my perspective on the comp sci major and how I believe it's it can be very beneficial to do as a pre-med or as someone who is applying applying to medical school or is interested in the medical field in general